All right, let's continue Final Fantasy 16. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Settle in. Going to go see Sid. The guy who talks all quiet like this. <laughs> Most concerning. Chasing rumors sits up there in that hole of his. It's the suck. I want to say something real quick. Does it have like a motion blur setting? Camera sensitivity, target follow, player follow. Oh, there we go. I noticed the motion blow was like a bit high. Project of mine, though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right, I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines uh. with orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. <sighs> I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why, nothing. Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Okay, before he continues. The mark applied to the cheeks of bearers across Valisea, identifying them as something other than human. Newborn babies are checked at birth, those who are found to be bearers being branded and taken into custody of the state, rarely. Bearers evade this test, either because their parents hide them, the testers are lax in their duties, or their powers do not awaken until later, yet most do not remain unbranded for long. Okay, so a brand of a lower class. Oh. A bearer, a person with the power to cast magics without a crystal. In Valisea, men and women who awaken as a bearer are enslaved. They are marked with a brand upon their cheek and used as tools, a cheaper alternative to the scarce and precious sards. This system of slavery has persisted for centuries and has become so ingrained in Valisean life that few take pity upon the bearer's plight, seeing them as less than human. Sid's hideaway is a refuge hidden in the blighted lands of Central Storm from which Sid operates his secretive community of freed bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, a combination of near-indestructible fallen ruins and considerably considerable ingenuity have led to the establishment of a safe haven where those who rally to their leader's cause are only just 
about able to eke out an albeit meager existence. Dominance like a branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help from branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil twin. Well, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Huh. All right, the classic. Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. As well as a few things you don't need. I'm interested in that. Was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith. To the forge it is then. Oh wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Hmm. Okay. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I've no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Damn. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. Okay. Blackthorn, resident blacksmith of Sid's hideaway, a sullen and secretive sort who prefers to drown his woes in drink. Than to share them. I'll do what I can. 
as a favor to Goot's mind. The crafting of new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at a blacksmith as long as you have the recipe and proper materials. Select the highlighted item from the list to craft or upgrade. Iron belt plus one. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. A uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Okay. When something has changed in the highway, a notice will appear in the upper right corner. Uh, okay. I don't know what Karen's toll is. I suppose I should think good. gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> All right, we make them comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there, someone face some water. I'll get water. You go and see if I don't need out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> got some ore What the hell have I got myself into? <sighs> Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <sighs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Taya. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Taya the one looking after Jill? Taya? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. Should sneak in while she's away. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. For a cave, I mean, this looks really elaborate. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more uh. than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. 
Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. Side quests unlock. Oh, now we got side quests. Keep an eye out for the green icon above the heads of certain NPCs. These indicate they have a quest for offer. Okay. Uh, there's a to-do list. Accepting a quest. Quest objectives will appear in the to-do list. Located to the right side of the screen. Objectives for the main scenario. Okay, and three side quests can be displayed simultaneously. At any time, a quest can be prioritized on the general tab. Got it. New hideaway features. A personal jukebox for songs. Both are located in the hideaway's eatery, the Fat Chocobo. Check out the side quest first. Do you think we should go and help? Don't think. Like... Oh. First, Otto, chief steward of Sid's hideaway, who manages the day-to-day -day running of their operation in his friend's stead. Sid often being taken far and away by his bearer liberating activities. Even when Sid is at home, he prefers to leave such busy work to Otto, much to the hard press purser's indignation. A new face, and dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat Chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we Chocobo. have to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. Okay. Oh, Mew. How long has it been? Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. The chest is empty. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. You think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but... Yeah. Oh. My thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> now, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. Okay, nothing new. <laughs> well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. 
I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe that food does look pretty good. If I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. That's the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. The Iron Blood were quick to sound the retreat. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Just for delivering food. Do come and visit me again, won't you? It's a, uh, okay, material. Countless treasure coffers lie across the realm, just waiting to be plundered. If you find one, don't hesitate to kick it open. Go on. No one's looking. Badge of metal. Increase defense by ten. Okay. Do you think we, we got more side quests? It sounds like Otto has everything. I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial capital. By the look of those bruises, not a moment too soon. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Step away to fetch any. This lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Zero. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, uh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. No, at least it points everything else nicely. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. 
Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. I was wondering if he was going to carry it, but no, it's like, magic hand. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Meteorite? Gilbog. <laughs> oh, I see. Can be traded for Gil. For Gil. Got it. Okay. Introductory quests done. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Oh, uh... Otto said you could provide them. I forgot the conditions called Slack. Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well... Yeah, heterochromia. Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Find a better price than that. Iron braces. I mean, I guess this is the intent is like just. I'm sure I'll be fine on potions. Why, you barely a guilty a name. You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. Hmm. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank you, dog. <laughs> Good work, doggo. <laughs> In before, like, I didn't have to spend that money. Arid Stone is now available. This customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities and train against all manner of enemies. Gotcha. 
Let's try it. Just to see what it is. Plus the environment intrigues me. Training options, invincibility region, burst timing. Oh. That's pretty cool. Shows inputs as well. mode. Unable to get the right angle of lighting through screenshots, use photo mode. Oh shit. Thumbnail maker. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is going to make life a little easier if I want to make thumbnails. Or I can get rid of collab. <laughs> There's a collab button. Well, this just makes things easier. Okay, then how do you hide the UI? The... Okay, I mean... It's not the greatest pose, but... Interesting. Uh, alright, let's just leave. How do you leave this area? Hey Sandy, how's it going? Ability, burst timing, recast times, enemy aggro on. Oh, there it is. Oh, seed. Yeah. Okay. That was a subtle option. You all done. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right.
Use the world map to instantly travel to unlock locations. New locations are unlocked by progressing. Okay. This map just gives me Game of Thrones vibes. How am I doing? All right. Just kicking back. Bastard blood flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. Well, you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here to the Holy Capital? Besides. Hang on. Um, what has it got on him now? Okay, nothing really that new. We are in the Great Wood, a vast forest in the southwestern part of Sandbrek. Wildlife thrives here, but the delicately balanced ecosystem has been thrown into disarray in recent years by the encroachment of the blight and the beasts driven before it. So dangerous has it become that travelers rarely venture here anymore. What's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? You know, the Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. Dog out. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Torgal has joined the party and will fight alongside Clive. There are pet commands now. Attack. Heal. Wait, the... The wolf can cut. <laughs> Ravage launch into the air. The accessory known as the Ring of Timely Assistance removes the need for giving Torgal commands. When this item is equipped, Torgal will attack and heal automatically based on the situation. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome for that and the shortcut. This looks really nice. that the wolf is like a major part of it. Oh, that can happen mid-combat. Oh, I know, combat's over. Right. 
this way, you lordship. Yes, you can pet the you can pet the dog. All right, good game confirmed. Is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of storm to fall to the blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Try and stay out of its path. So we can't fight it. Remember when I said the deadly beast? Well, the sword. Oh, that's how you swap. Okay, so now. Okay, got it. I can't believe the, how does a dog heal me? That's not what I want Magic dog. Well, that's the underground sorted. I'll take it from here. Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Mind your head. <sighs> For a sec there, I don't know. I just, it looked very Ridley like. That was funny, I was like, wait a minute. Go, doggo, go. The wolf howls and it heals me. <laughs> See how much stronger the dog gets. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Okay, I 
I thought maybe the wolf thing would be there. Uh... I like lunge. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. Wait, do I really not have that much inventory? I only have like four potions. What is it, doggo? What is it, boy? At least one of us knows. Why trust in your own animal instinct when you now have an actual animal at your side? If you are lost, hold down, and Toggle will point you in the right direction. Thank you, Toggle. <laughs> Oh, because I forgot an item. I mean, I guess that makes sense. New enemies approach. <laughs> Dog over like backflip. I saw if the dog is able to use a sword by the end of this, I'm going to be happy. Just carries a great sword the size of a human. We did what had to be done. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No. No, it doesn't. I mean, this is good. This is a good alternative to to a mini map. Like, I like this UI, it's very minimal. that thing we were trying to avoid. Um, you got lore on the dogger. Clive's faithful friend, the two, were separated on the night of the tragedy at Phoenix Gate, yet reunited 13 years later in the depths of Nicer Del Defile in the intervening years. Toggle not only grew into a fine hound, but met with Sid, who trained him to work as a hunting dog. After meeting with Clive again, Toggle gladly returns to the service of his former master. The Fallen, an ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the length and breadth of Balasea. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked by modern methods, so the people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. Sword sharp. You'd better hope so. This should take two. So much for shortcuts. What? Still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly. You know what to do, boy. Whoops. <laughs> I can't believe that the wolf feels. Good 
damn it. Like a gigantic Sonic the Hedgehog. Not if we kill him first. I want one. Get back down. There. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna get old. Some people might be confused, but I was playing Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga before this, so. Oh, shit. You're dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. But what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind of choice. A place where we can do It doesn't look that old. Terms. I mean, it definitely sounds old because of the voice actor, but like... It doesn't look that old. What exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant in the fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. Alright. Forest dark enough as it is. I wish... The only thing about photo mode is like, I wish you could pose the other characters. And just be like, alright, Sid, smile. We're gonna take a photo along this beautiful vista over here. We're best buddies, so let's let's take a photo. But it doesn't work that way. Get him, boy! Over here. There, boy! 
Holy crap. That is one acrobatic dog. You know what to do. Get him, boy. Over here. Sick of toggle. Get him, boy. Alright, I mean, he does say a lot of voice lines for the dog. Like with most RPGs that I play, I will try to fight everything just in the interest of not falling behind in levels. And then if there's new lore. I think he says way too many doggo lines. Toggle! Toggle, get him, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, Toggle. Get him, attack him. Yeah, Toggle. Great job, Toggle. Yeah. Alright, stop now. Not this time. Hey, you go, me. Oh, I'm doing alright, just kicking duck. Enjoying the story of this. Game confirmed. Quiet. It's a magic dog because it can heal me. It's like usually there's what, a white mage? No, there's no white mage here. There's Royal Scout. Doggo. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. And? Oh, it's, uh... They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. Uh, 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 
We move. I know I know her name, but I'm trying to come up with like a, another clever name that is like other than Backstabia. My liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? Okay. Benedicta Hardman. Harman. Commander of the Kingdom of Wallards. Elite intelligences who sits by her liege's side at the highest tables of state. Most recently in their negotiations with the Dalmex at Zenitra Stronghold. But Barnabas is not the only one with whom she shares a special bond. Benedicta also has eyes and ambitions for Hugo Kupka. Okay, so the royal intelligences are an elite unit of Royal Knights of Wallowed, led by Benedicta Harmon, who lead clandestine incursions deep into the territory of enemy nations for myriad purposes, espionage and assassination among them. Well, I mean, just something that's like, you know, it just adds the letter A to the end of it and makes it, you know, Benedicta, like Benedict Arnold, but like... Backstabber or backstabia. <laughs> Betrayalia? I don't know. Like stuff like that. So, what is this kingdom of Walloed? Walloed. The sole surviving nation in Ash. Walloed has its capital in Stone Hero, home to the Mother Crystal of Drake's Spine. A warlike land, its considerable military might serves to keep neighboring countries at bay, while Walloed does maintain a national alliance with the Dalmecian Republic in a southern storm. It is very much a marriage of convenience. That woman. Benedicta Harmon. Commander of Walud's elite intelligence. Walud, okay, that's how they pronounce it. If we can capture her. You! Weapons Back on the ground, Imperial. Backstabia! <sighs> Let's get this over with then. Staggered. You know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> this dog is so damn acrobatic. It's amazing. Cinematic clash when the screen flashes orange like this during a pivotal moment. Repeatedly tap square. Thank you. 
Hey, Colorant, how's it going? Slept past five. What time is it now? Can't be that much later. Seven twenty-two. Yeah, it's still early, <laughs> but at least it's not five. It's not a whole lot. Um, we, we've set out, and Sid has said that uh, there's like a camp nearby where apparently there's some dude who might be the guy that killed our brother. We don't know. Just there's a rumor that some dude is like the fire guy. We were Imperials. Sid is uh, Thunder. <laughs> also, Doggo has joined the party, and Doggo can heal. And one blessed by the phoenix at that. Bid <laughs> is the aspect of thunder. Speaking of which, I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings? Do you think? It's icon, but yeah. You, know. you don't believe me. Icon. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Oh yeah, we also saw Backstabia just before the fight, as of all the rest, doing Backstabby things. Can't be born until the previous dies, and even that can take years. about it the thing is you don't strike me as a liar which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter and they're in lost swing as are our Waluda friends I would imagine we should hurry before it gets dark but what if someone discovers the bodies well and they'll be sorely disappointed. <sighs> Stage replay in arcade mode. That's cool. Some time later. Some... Anything new? We're in the Holy Empire Sandbrick, a nation occupying the northeastern reaches of the continent of Storm. With the great city of Oriflam as its capital, Sandbrick is the realm's largest theocracy and home to the Mother Crystal Drexhead. Under the rule of the Holy Emperor, the people of Sandbrick enjoy a life of plenty thanks to the Crystal's blessing, which they believe to be a gift from the goddess Gregor herself. The Dominant of Fire A mysterious figure who was first seen amid the chaos of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate, immediately before the appearance of the second Icon of Fire. The very icon that slew the heir to the Dusel throne. Clyde believes this man to be the dominant who murdered his brother and has sworn to take his revenge. For arriving before sunset. Uh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? From the fallen ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though his flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame that. 
You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Attuning with an obelisk allows Clive to quickly travel to the location via both the world map and the local map. Okay. It's fast travel. I got an achievement for that. All right. Good game confirmed. They knew what they were doing with that. distance. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? Can we stealth in this game? I don't think we can. <laughs> well, they have health bars, so, you know. I get the feeling they're not friends. Damn, that was cool. You know what to do, boy. Sick of that's enough. Get him up. Sick of Toggle. More were looters. But why? What is it they want? You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> Smart ass. Sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? <laughs> Subtle. So got the Cape Dogger. Looks like. Yeah, no kidding, huh? Be completely abandoned. Can it? We don't know who we're looking for, or what they look like. Like a, a vague description would have been nice. Oh yes, you are looking for human. You can't miss him. Or them, I should say. Don't even know if it's a dude. Sounds like a child. Fake. It's all right. I'm not one of them. I am. <laughs> With the Imperial Just kidding. Army, and we've come to help. Do you know who your parents are? <laughs> that would that would be funny. In the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here? Until then. 
to the church then. Got on her. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog. About time. Finally enough, we have a healing dog. <laughs> Thunder! <laughs> Who the hell are you? This dude is like, just Luigi. That's his nickname. Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's alright, he's with me. Is this everyone? No, there were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. I'll give you one guess where he's going. Clive, after him. See, we're not very fast, but I bet the dog could chase him down much quicker. Any word from the scouts? <laughs> it's backstabia. The dominant companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Kea Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the Dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. That smug look. What else has it got on her? Uh, okay, so it's like... After attending the negotiations with the Dalmex at the Zenitra stronghold, where she crushed the hopes of the Republican army while encouraging those of Hugo Kupka, she parted company with her liege lord in order to lead a secret incursion into Imperial territory. Second in command of Walud's royal intelligences, serving under Benedicta Harmon, with whom he shares a deep bond of trust. And Lost Wing, a settlement located in central Sandbrek on the northeastern edge of Greatwood. Having initially found prosperity as a stopover point for traveling traders, it fell from favor when newer, better roads bypassed it, and eventually fell off the map entirely. The villages built both in and around fallen ruins that the people of Lost Wing claim was once called an airship. Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> My sex. To our Lady of the Wind. And the King! Ugh, the Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> Lady Benedicta, Imperials! <laughs> An 
And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. Mercy. Backstabia. Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. Good. I was getting bored. I came up with the name before she started backstabbing people. <laughs> Let it be known, she's backstabbed a couple already. I love how much that has worked out. Backstabia, please. I think he says too many, um, like he interacts with the dog way too many times. Like every three seconds, it's like, Toggle! Toggle! Stick him, Toggle! Good job, Toggle! All right, Toggle! Yeah, Toggle! <laughs> you get it, man. No spoils? Really? Oh no, there we go. I was gonna say, Clarex Medallion. I'll check that out. You've got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Backstabia, please. <laughs> Look us here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question. Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Oh, something is there. And she's gone. Did 
she say where she was going? No. <laughs> then we head back to Lost Wing. <laughs> That's a fair point. Going. It's like, where are you going, man? But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <sighs> like, where, what direction were we planning to head in exactly? at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. Thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah, this is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't help when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. <laughs> Very British. In it. Water. Can I have some water? <laughs> God. Whose tamed ones a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled His lance levels mountains it spanned as the deep The skies over storm breaks for every leaf And should the revenge won't bring him back It won't Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. I mean, he was kind of trapped under a boulder. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be its slave, then. <sighs> Meanwhile, at this place. An Imperial stronghold located along the southern fringes of the Sambra Cloud territory, far from its capital of Oriflam. It occupies a key strategic position adjacent to the Crystal Belt, and is suitably formidably fortified as a result. Within its walls, there are living quarters, a church, a jail, and sufficient storehouses to see the occupants through a lengthy siege. His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> Offer still stands. Join us, and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Jeez. 
backstab you, please. Lord Margrace, don't. I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Clive. Wake up. Gav's back. Ken Ovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds. Though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way, <sighs> suppose I better <laughs> scout ahead for any surprises. The sounds of frustration. Don't you let him down. Who is Gav? Sid's faithful scout who puts his legendary nose to work in tracking the movements of slavers, soldiers, and any other object of interest to the hideaway. The ever-agreeable fellow only too gladly delving behind enemy lines if he can get a good story or two out of it. Okay. He bears the burden of being the dominant of Rama, Warden of Thunder! <laughs> no longer does he fight for any one nation, but for all the peoples of Alistair. I won't. All right. Shall we? Some people are going to be so confused by so the time this is out. Just we like, why is he saying the word thunder like that? Go play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, and then you'll understand. We'll just as the sun comes up. Maybe join oh, well, better yet, watch me play it. Come on, Clive. <laughs> They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. Dead of Night. As the story progresses, new weapons and items will become available at the Heidi Waste Trading Post, Karen's Toll, as well as forging recipes at the Black. No, settled. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kip. <laughs> Just have to. What can I interest you in today? I've already got the long sword. Good day. Okay. Um, hold on. Oh no, we've got the broad sword, not the long sword. Is there a gear compare? What can I interest you in today? Oh, there we go. That's an upgrade. We've got plenty of gill. I trust it's all here. I 
hope it's to your liking. Ah, yes. Keep fighting the good fight. Wait, what was the last thing? Can I interest you in today? 40,000? That's for music. That's for music. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him? You won't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only would trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily. I can provide a solution to your dilemma. Tattoo As a removal. Of the Sid, that is. <laughs> Makeup. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. Oh. The hanged man. May the mothers guide you. Hmm. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Intriguing. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. The landlord of Lost Wings Tavern and the leader of the village. Doesn't really say much else about him. Wait, hold on. Alliance, those who do not call the hideaway their home, but nevertheless lend their length to, to Sid's cause. There are many in the twins who balk at the persecution of bearers, but cannot find within them the courage to oppose it. Knowing what fate awaits them, should their sympathies be exposed. Others take that risk, aiding Sid's bearer liberation efforts with information sent by Stolas, monetary assistant, or direct action. Marks, emblems that Sid's allies distribute to those in their circle of trust. It is common for the rich and powerful of Valisea to pin such marks to the, bear to the bearers in their possession, that the slaves might go about their master's business unmolested. Let's see if this thing really works. Gather information from the villages. And that's all you can remember. No side quests in this town. Hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today, getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. 
Oh, Bacchus. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that he weren't alone. Was a young maid who went wherever he did, including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. She looks very tired. <laughs> Thank you. Just... Very dull. Hang on. <laughs> this photo mode thing is funny. I can make thumbnails for YouTube this way. I just, I wish I could pose him, like make him make a face or something, but I don't think there's any setting for that. That would be funny. Quinton took a liking to you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have, though. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. Where is Sid? Just want to move my chair a little. Ah, all right. It's like recline mode. So, like, can I... Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. I just question the positioning of the mic. It's, like, a little bit low. I need to move it so it's higher. So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking... If our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalist to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Okay. Where's Quinton? The problem is, like, Sid, whenever I approach him, he moves away. So I can't take a photo with him. Like, look at this. 
He's like, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? What are you trying to do? I just want to take a picture with you, Sid. We're best friends now. Come on. Sid. <laughs> like, look at this. He just does... He just does not want to be near me. I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. <laughs> Better than a wet rock, I mean. Not wrong. The following evening. Are we going to get lore about the wet rock? Uh, alright, so we've read about it a little bit. Um, presently, its obscurity serves as a cover to mask its burgeoning status as a safe haven for bearers who work the nearby vineyards for Quinton, Elderman and co-conspirator of Sid, while Cass of the Coughlin Rogue aged could be rogue aged in lost wing cells for the village with most needed income all right so it's... well that took longer than expected first time this month on the barricade it gets easier don't worry i won't if we leave now we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest unless you'd rather wait no more waiting the road south then unless I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Him and the shortcuts. Really a shortcut? I don't know. Had to fight something major last time. Surprise, no side quests in this area. Come back to me, my darling. Oh See, they don't walk away from me. If the Royalists were looking to take the care, they'd have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises. At least I would have. Well, you should know. Dog backflips are like the best. What was that? That was like a. That was more than a backflip. Majesty's cunning stunts. 
and he sent his best to execute it. There they are. Where do they all come from? Get them! Yeah. Stay down! It, it, it is like really fun combat but not what i was expecting to be honest like again because of the last final fantasy game i played it was just very different this is more of an action game now I'm terrible at like I don't care who else is in there. words that I, I guess like that. I don't know what origin it is, like if it's Gaelic or I guess just that that thing and like that's pretty common in the UK and neighboring countries. Like, the doggo knows, oh, like a screw attack, like Samus's move. down the front door I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact there's an old sluice that empties under the bridge it should see us through to the lower levels of the care Sid we both know why I'm here but what is it that you want why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts if anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want... ...is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are... ...but who you are. Very noble. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is... I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. Her name is Backstabia. The best and worst decision I ever made. Oh. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. I'll save the moment I get to this place because it's been it's been a couple of hours I should save. I right know we've only got one thing going on, so I also just realized the music here. Tea time. Uh, eh, maybe. It's only ten. Okay. 
actually start? Nothing. The land has fallen. The eastern territories all but belong to the orcs. <laughs> this dude sounds like... Don't bother. Oh, hello. This dude sounds like the guy at the start of Skyrim. The light would have engulfed the mines ere long. Besides, you already have your orders. Yes, my leash. The Are we supposed to feel sorry for her now? Realm with each passing day, the land starved of the ether that gives it life. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the mother crystals, desperate for their blessing. The war we wage for possession of that blessing, it breaks us from within, hastening us to our own destruction. And so you do what must be done. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. The world must be restored, and I will see it so. You might have already had Sidolphus not betrayed us. Him again. Lust you still for his embrace? But... Of course not. My liege. I serve you. And you alone. I remember well the day you first entered these halls. Your pale hand pressed into his, as if he would never let go. That... that was a long time ago. Yours... is the only hand I need. Now... and always. Soon, my dear. Soon all will know... Whose hand it is that keeps them from falling into the darkness? Hold me, my leash. Never let me go. One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. Your orders? Pull the men back inside the care, Geralt. He is here, then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. <sighs> so you've come for me after all. Are we in the sores? <laughs> <laughs> All clear. So that's a shortcut. Oh, Doggo's gonna need a bath. So. It appears her alliances with Hugo Kupka would be a naught but a ruse, guided by the hand of King Barnabas. Her love for her former Lord Commander Sid was deep and true, and left an equally abyssal hole in her heart when she fled Walut. Okay, so... Um, born in the land of the twins, journeyed to Valisea as a sword for hire. It was here that he entered the service of Walud, awakened as a dominant, and was finally elevated to Lord Commander of the Royal Army. However, he was soon to abandon his post and Benedicta, that he might instead create a world where bearers and dominants can die on their own terms. That's a nice trick. You'll have to teach me some time.
We should start with the dungeons. They may be holding the bearers there. Sound plan. As long as we keep ourselves on this side of the bars. I was looking for items. This gate. Need some help. What do you think? The I'm doing most of the lifting. So for this, it has the adaptive trigger feature where like the trigger on, on the button is getting tense, so you have to use more pressure to press it. It's a neat feature, but it's not really used that often. I think it makes sense in driving games. It doesn't add that much depth. Did you hear that? Unfortunately, yes. This lunge attack is so ridiculously overpowered. You just keep spamming it. <laughs> Low tier enemies can't do anything to it. It's just like, oh, okay, they just keep getting staggered. Tell that I'm an older sibling, it's like Where to next? using the same move, and the younger sibling is like, that's cheating. You're not allowed to use the same move over and over again. Speaking of abilities. Okay, I can't upgrade it any further. What's next? I might save for one of the big ticket items. What does a master give? I would imagine this just makes its range better. Or makes it do more damage. I do use that ability quite a bit. We'll see what the mastery does. This door only leads to more royalists. We'd better find another one. So you pick. I can't put the doggo right now. Just not that one, obviously. I want to say take my pick for. Pick, I picked the door. You don't want me to pick that door? Not have picked the window. Bloody show off. Well, we found the Imperial garrison right where the Royalists left.
Jeez. <laughs> that scared me a little. Okay, well, that... Whoops. It seemed to have, like, a much better range. It's become extreme lunge now. I mean, when I get up to a boss, obviously I can't do this, and it's just... Even in a normal RPG, when you're fighting trash, it's just... You can use a move to just finish them off quickly, or easily, and there's nothing wrong with it. But it is admittedly very funny. I can't loot that yet. Now this might be something where I have to do other moves. You know what to do, Anything that has armor, I can't just repeatedly do that. Well, maybe I can. <laughs> okay. The fights look cool. They are. They are. They're very satisfying. It's like dopamine hits on so many levels. It's very fluid. Oof. Where did that come from? Combat's more of an action game style combat, which I yeah I like. The favor of fire, Scarlet Cyclone. Hold on. Oh. These are like easy mode items. <laughs> I don't particularly mind it, to be honest. That's why it has like those... It did offer... Uh, I guess that's what it, it means by like story mode. If you want to do story mode, I guess it gives you those two... So then it's more like you just focus on story and chill, which I do appreciate. Attacking an opponent from the front while it is guarding will deal no damage. Circle to the rear to penetrate its defenses. Certain basic abilities such as burning blades and charged magic as well as iconic abilities such as phoenix flames will break an opponent's guard when delivered from the front. So, in other words, pull her back Sabia. Got it. What's that? Backstab! <laughs> 
this this attack is so ridiculously overpowered that's it It's because it has a tracking mechanic to it, that's what makes it ridiculous. Oh, what's that? No, like I wouldn't use any other move at this at this rate. Like why would I? It's so good. Again, I'm sure later I won't be able to do what I'm doing right now. This is the first mission, really, like, outside of the, the start of the game, so. Just checking. Backstabia. A little light for prayer, isn't it? Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. All this for a midnight chat. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wing? You mean where's the dominant? Well, we shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of him. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who'd use me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. Your name is literally like associated with betrayal. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, <laughs> so what changed? <laughs> what made you think you had to sacrifice who you were to get what you wanted? Sacrifice? I use my talents to my advantage and you would tell me there is shame in that? If there's no shame, then why do you feel so sorry for yourself? A rousing speech, Lord Commander. I was a fool to believe you might have changed. The only person I feel sorry for is you! I can't do this anymore. If you would stand between our leash and his dream, then you leave me no choice. Goodbye, Sidolphus.
Oh shit. Stand back, Clive. Do you know what time it is? It's time for Thunder! I mean, pretty, pretty epic looking. But you can see it's taking a toll on him. Backstab ya, please! <laughs> Just... <laughs> goes for the backstab. Uh oh. Why? Finish them. Well, Sid. Please just not come against my Toggle, yeah, Toggle, all right, Toggle. Good job, Toggle. Yeah, take him, Toggle. Get him, boy. A little help. Oh, boy. Oh shit. Ow. One down. Wait, they both get down at the same time? That's convenient. She doesn't look happy, Toggle. Come on. Too Go, go, go. I wonder if Sid's okay. That's a lot of money.
Sid, are you all right? Do I look all right? Jeez. Hold on. Just checking. <laughs> Benedicta will be on her way to collect the dominant, if she hasn't already. You can't afford to let them leave. Remember, she has wings, you don't. What about you? Before or after I catch my breath. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, Toggle. Anything in here? A chest. Meteorite. She must be here somewhere. I will say, like, the one thing that uh, yesterday I couldn't put my finger on was like why this uh like it felt a bit disorienting and it was because of the motion blur. Like I I turned it down quite a bit. Today. There's still a little bit, but not a lot like it was yesterday. It's much better. Look at that attack by the dog. It's so good. Dog a cartwheel. Gotta be a way to get that. How late you must go before sunrise. How did the dog get up there? Can the dog climb ladders? You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy. He's magic, yeah. I guess. Dog can heal, so therefore dog has access to sorcery. Set it down. Man, that takedown. Holy crap, that move. That's 
enough. Sick of Tobol. Okay, I need to get rid of this guy. You're causing me problems. Land spam is funny. Good work, dog out. a bitch. Where are we going? Hey, Mrs. Sam, how's it going? Uh, hold on. Where? This way. Migraine. That's, that's good to hear. I'm doing alright, just kicking back. I'm reclined, just playing this. Finally. What? What is it? Thought it was pointing something out. Confess, I expected more from the old man. And less from you. This is the second time you've bested my sisters. Men of your talents are rare indeed. Why cost your lot with such undesirables? If it is the hearth you long for, you will find more than enough warmth under my wings. You know exactly what I want. Hand over the dominant, and I'll leave you in peace. You would dare to make demands of me. Know your place, little lamb. Fool is the shepherd who heeds every bleat of the flock. And I will suffer yours no longer. <laughs> Must I spell it out for you, Branded? No one is listening. No one at all! Come, little lamb. To the slaughter with you. Okay. Not this time. I'm gonna be more careful this time. <laughs> Oh, 
Gotcha. Oh, she seems to be angry already. Shit. <laughs> this battle music. Lunge is so ridiculously overpowered. She's already got her health gone. Like, what's going on? to the rescue oh no gonna charge me. Beach. Time to join your pet. Oh my god. Throwing me a fucking tower at me. Yeah. 
back. Again. She is tanky. Goes away. I'll kill you. I'll kill you both. Holy shit, scorched up. Man. 
That was a cool fight. Simple, Benedict. He was fighting for something he believed in. Shut up! Why aren't you dead? We've played your games. Now tell me where he is. Who? What are you? Uh Why? Took a dark turn. How'd you do that? Fuck me. I hope the bear has found a way out. Clive, this place is ready to collapse, and I'd rather not be here when it does. If your dominant started this fire, and I'm betting he did, he'll be long gone. Damn it all. Always the voice of reason, that guy. Anything new? Nope. Fire! <laughs> oh dear. What was that? I created a diversion as commanded, Your Grace. The villagers escaped in the confusion. As should we. Yes. Why do I get the feeling that's just gonna be brother?
Oh, look. Morning has broken. And here come the cavalry, itching to butcher the bastards who made him miss their morning gruel. Come on. If they catch us leaving a burning care, people might jump to conclusions. Right. Wings of Change. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Garuda's essence. Attuning with Garuda not only changes the elemental aspect of magic skills, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Gouge, a deadly fury of talons that can tear into an opponent for multiple hits. Okay, Deadly Embrace can be used to draw smaller and lighter enemies towards Clive. The action can topple larger enemies that become partially staggered. Interesting. You can toggle between icons in real time for a more varied assault. Benedicta said you'd taken her power. You don't still have it, do you? I think I do. I can feel it. It's inside me. Along with the flames. Well, are you not keen to try it out? What could possibly go wrong? Uh, not yet. Okay. It's time for an intermission. I'm gonna make some tea. Um, it's been like almost three hours, so. First, we save. I can't believe this game doesn't auto save. That is very dangerous, but you know, we're okay. All right, anyway, uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, this is the part where I say bye YouTube, but hope you enjoyed. And if you wanna Support content, click buttons, maybe click videos that you see in front of you now if you want to watch more stuff. But uh, this will continue next time. Alright, bye YouTube.